How's it going, Fatal Family? Welcome to another WWE 2K24 custom arena as well as like modded arena video. This is my second time ever doing these custom arena showcase videos because 2K24 introduced the ramp cameras. So I'm like, hey, if there's a ramp camera, I might as well showcase some arenas now. If future WWE 2K games include the ramp camera, then I will also continue this series. If not, then it pretty much just dies with 2K24. Anyways, in today's video, I'll be showing off some more modded arenas plus some more traditional throwback arenas instead of only modded and custom arenas. Top left of your screen, I will include the hashtag, creator name, as well as if it's an arena or show so you can easily search it up and know what to look for. Also, make sure you have a 2K account linked as well as crossplay turned on so you can find these creations and download them. Let's get into the first one. The first two arenas are from iKevinSoto, and the first one is Raw 2011. So if you want to have a nice throwback match from 2011, download this arena to have it in it. This is how the front looks, the ramp, you have got the WWE logo right here. Very nice looking arena. And there's also a SmackDown version, which I'll be showing next. The next arena, just like the Raw one, is SmackDown 2011. Pretty identical to the Raw one, except of course it is SmackDown themed. Even the announcer tables look great. Kevin Soto also has a wonderful SummerSlam arena from 2008. And this is the SummerSlam that if I recall correctly, has like the most impact on my memories. Um, I believe they had a bunch of funny SummerSlam commercials uh, using the, like involving the wrestlers when they were promoting this uh, pay-per-view. And that logo is always so iconic to me. Uh, even the uh, ring apron, the, the, like this logo and this ring apron just it sort of just hits me, with, hits me with nostalgia. And it um, just reminds me, like this SummerSlam just reminds me of my childhood. And uh, I believe it's this one. I believe this is the one. I, I think they used that logo a few times, so I might be getting it mixed up with a different SummerSlam, but it is pretty much a SummerSlam where it had like funny commercials of like, I think it was Kane barbecuing or Triple H was barbecuing and they had like chef hats on. I'm trying to recall, but yeah, this here definitely just uh, brings back memories. Announcers are just Raw and SmackDown. As it did back in the day, I believe in back in the day, pay-per-views would have like Raw and SmackDown and that's it. Um, I'm assuming it's accurate, you know, and it looks great. Just look at that. That looks so good. Looks like it's coming out of a movie theater. Really, really nice. And the last arena that I'm showcasing from I, Kevin Soto. Now, he has a lot of arenas, way more than the four I'm showcasing. But the last one that I will be showcasing from him is Cyber Sunday. I mean, I just had to showcase this one. Like the giant cell phone. That just looks great. Look at that. Even has Cyber Sunday on it. Like that just looks so good. Got some of the servers there. And the reason why I had to showcase Cyber Sunday is because Cyber Sunday was such a unique pay-per-view. I don't I don't know why they stopped uh, you know, continuing it considering how big social media is nowadays. Like this was this was done during a time where social media wasn't even that big. Now social media is massive and WWE is very good at marketing and utilizing social media. So I don't know why they don't bring back Cyber Sunday. Um one thing I loved about Cyber Sunday was that the votes actually mattered. The votes weren't like rigged or anything like that. Whatever we voted for that's what they did. And I'm assuming that's also a big reason why they never brought it back because they know that if they tried to do that nowadays, you know, the IWC is very trolly. Like, we're just going to pick the most fucking trolled answers, you know what I mean? Or trolled options. And, and, and we can't really, like, you know, we don't know how to book, right? Like, we would end up booking the shittiest matches. It'd be like, who do you want to see one on one? And out of the options, we'd pick like Akira Tozawa versus versus randy orton like you know what i mean like our matchups would be ridiculous just because we just because we would end up picking the trolling options or you know bots would come in and just rig the rig the votes you know it'd be a mess i, I see why they don't bring it back now that i think about it but i would love for them to bring it back and have some regulations and some control over it cyber sunday really really unique pay-per-view and such a good arena kevin soto great job Next up, we got another one of Marty M's crazy modded arenas. And this one here is a hockey rink. Like, goddamn, look at this thing. Like, I feel like I'm in an actual hockey rink. I don't know how he does this. He enclosed it in a gym. It's definitely the gym setting, it looks like. The whole floor is ice, you know, hockey ring. You got people sitting in, like, the bleachers and shit. Uh, got, you know, the boards. The, Zam the Zamboni, like, that's pretty cool. Like, the way he had the illusion of the Zamboni sitting there. Um, <laughs> even got the net. The garage door, the flags, you know what I mean? The scoreboard. Like, this is so nice. This is so cool. Uh, so if you want to wrestle in a hockey ring, you definitely can. Even got another net right there. You can put on a regular match and just use it as a ring. Or you can just do, like, false count anywhere and have them. 
and you know fight anywhere on the ice rink and pin them anywhere on the ice rink i would prefer probably false gun anywhere like no dq um when you know using this this arena but you could use it as a regular match because you know the ring is above ground so it's not underground like most of his modded arenas uh yeah the hockey rink really really unique arena and idea um i don't know what you got this design from like the, the ice design i don't know where you got that from uh, i'm assuming you, unless you made it but man it looks so real <laughs> yeah great job marty also from marty m we got nxt spring break in and this is outside really cool arena and i list like sand here and it looks like they're on the beach this guy here cannot be having a good time i mean like he's almost buried you know what i mean of the sand like look at this but yeah they're sitting in the sand you got some of the parrots some of the birds and stuff uh shark up there palm trees big beach ball the entrance way right here has the illusion of like a tunnel we got paramedics on standby just in case anything happens you know what i mean any shark attacks you never know they're pretty close to the water uh the audience and we also got a lifeguard station right there pretty cool pretty cool and a double decker bus and the marty m does have a raw version smackdown version as well as an AEW version so i'm just showcasing the nxt one because i like the nxt spring breaking style of it uh, but th there is a raw smackdown and AEW version so you can pick your poison same hashtags uh, but I really like the NXT one. I love the vibrant colors. I love the way it pops. Next up, we have All In London. This is the top downloaded one, and it comes from Marty M. Not surprised. It's one of his earlier uh, arenas, but I'm just I'm just covering it now for the first time because this is only my second arena video ever. You know what I mean? And uh, because there's ramp camera now, I'm like, you know what? Let me showcase more arenas, right? Um, usually, usually I don't showcase arenas, but because of the ramp camera, I'm going to showcase them. And if 2K25 has a ramp camera, I'll continue the series. If not, then it's going to die with 2K24. But we have All In London, AW All In London. I believe it's their biggest grossing pay-per-view. Um, this one specifically, All In London. Uh, so we have a really cool arena, really nice arena, really nice recreation. Here is the entrance, the entrance way right here. Very nice. And that's how it looks like when they're walking towards the ring. Next up, we have the Raw after WrestleMania 40. It looks like WWE is moving forward with these small type, you know, ramps. And this way, apparently, it's because they can, you know, modify the arena and add more seats because because apparently WWE arenas are getting overcrowded instead of undercrowded. So they have to, like, make more space. And by making the entrance, it's just very simple, you know, not extravagant and huge. They can add more seating. So we have the Raw after WrestleMania 40, you know, pretty much a perfect recreation. Nothing special. It's the small entrance way. They come down the ramp and the Raw arena looks regular. You know what I mean? Raw with the pitch black background as they've been doing it recently. Looks very nice. The Raw after WrestleMania 40. Next up from Arkham, we got a really cool arena called Super Brawl. Look at this thing. Made it look like an SNES arena. Like that is so sick. They put a big picture of SNES cartridge behind a black background. So it really pops. The rampway is like the top of the SNES. So it looks like the cartridge is in it. Um, I believe Super Brawl is an actual game too. I could be wrong, but I believe Super Brawl is an actual game for the SNES. So we got the SNES Super Brawl. We got the uh, we got the character select screen right here on each side. Custom announcer tables and the ring has a custom apron. It looks really nice. I just love the way it looks. Especially imagine ramp camera. You're staring at the SNES and it just looks like the cartridge is there. It's so cool. The next one is a show, so make sure you search up under shows, not arenas. I will have it indicated in the top left if it's a show or arena, so you know what to search it under. But this one here is based on the WWE Hasbro Arena. These arenas are really cool to like use the action figure characters and wrestle in. Or if you want to have like matches with just a bunch of random uh, characters like Spider-Man, Superman, uh, horror icons, you can just pretend that you're actually using action figures. Um, as you can see, it has the ring matching what the toy looks like. We got the announcer table with like the logos on it. Really cool. The stage just says Undertake them all. Extra cooler. And we got like a little enclosed taker right here in the corner here. Nice illusion. If you uh, look at it from a distance, it looks like it's actually um, like popping out. It actually looks like it's a taker in the enclosure. See, if you look at a distance like this. Nice illusion. I love when creators make these illusions with their arenas. Uh, the ramp camera will look like this. So you will see the taker in the little... Uh, in the little case wwf hashbro arena by kp and dc the next toy arena is the wwf hashbro king of the ring arena again same concept you know what i mean it says bring home the superstars toys r us logo there undertaker again in his enclosure yellow arena this time for the king of the ring even has that plastic look to it i love it it has that plastic shine to it 
So it really does look like a toy ring. And again, the announcer table has, again, has that plastic look to it. Wonderful, wonderful arena. Great to use the action figure uh, characters in, you know, and now, now that we have like action figure characters that a lot of people have or can use and looks like we're getting more in the future, especially with Hulk Hogan just releasing, you know, Ichiban Hulk Hogan just came out. So we're probably gonna get more in the future. It's cool to have these toy like arenas to use your action figure characters in. The next toy arena, and this one here is actually one that I owned and it is the Monster Ring Arena. This ring absolutely sucked as a kid. If you guys had this ring, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The The ring was very bouncy. It was small. You couldn't really have, you know, big matches in it. You didn't have a lot of room to play with your action figures. It wasn't until like I got this, this other ring, like a toy ring that was just one big plastic piece. And it was a lot bigger uh, based on like classic WWF where I could really start doing like Royal Rumbles with my action figures, but I definitely own this monster ring and what a wonderful recreation. It says, collect them all off fast, then get out of the way. WWF, Jack Specific logo there. Uh, we, again, we got, th that's how the box looked like. It said, Raw's War, monster ring, get ready for war. That's exactly how the box looked. I love the way he made the ramp. Again, it looks very toy-like. This whole, this whole arena looks toy-like and I love it. Great to use your action figures in. Next up, we have the Mountain Dew Pitch Black Match. Really, really cool recreation of the Pitch Black Match. And you know what? It was Bray Wyatt's last match, so it's definitely fitting to download and use. You can recreate that match perfectly. I love the way it pops. It looks pretty much exactly how it looked like when we watched it on TV. Got the glow in the dark ropes, the custom apron, the Mountain Dew Pitch Black logo in the middle of the ring, which I don't think we had that in the actual match. I don't recall, but you know, KP added it anyways. We have that like goo stuff, whatever, that glow in the dark stuff on the ground here next to next to the announcer table. Royal Rumble logo, Suicide Squad on PlayStation, Cricket 5G, you know, accurate ads, very nice. The big logo of the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match on the front there of the ramp of the entranceway. And we also got really, really nice touch. We also got the door for Bray Wyatt's entrance. Very, very nice touch. Wonderful looking arena and even the banner up here, all purple and stuff. Very nice arena. And it's a great recreation of this very unique and odd match that we got at our Rumble. That just so happens to be Bray Wyatt's last match. Next up, I heard you. I heard you. You know, you said, hey, I want to see some more WCW arenas. Well, I got you. We got WCW Thunder here by Zay Diaz. Now, Zay Diaz has a bunch more WCW Thunder arenas. So if you end up searching this one up, then just look through like content by the creator and you can pick more. I will showcase more of his work in like future videos. But for the sake of this video, I believe I'm going to be showcasing two. But we got WCW Thunder on TNT, very nice looking ring, the barricades, you know, you have like those very cheap barricades, those old cheap barricades, the, the announcer table, and the entrance. The second WCW arena from Zay Diaz is WCW Spring Stampede. This is how the entrance looks like, very nice. Got the hay bales there, you know, fitting, matching the, uh, the look of it, you know, like the western feel of it. Got the hay bales. Walk into the ring. It says WCW on it. Like the wooden steps. Very nice. The logo's on the barricades. More wooden steps. The announcer table. Yeah, wonderful WCW arena. For you WCW fans that want more arenas to put on like WCW Universe matches. Here you go. These ones are definitely for you. Check out Zay Diaz's arenas. Next up is a template for Marty M. And this template is the LED barricade template. Essentially, this replaces the Minitrons. But as you can see, there's uh, LEDs on the actual barricade there, only right there. And you can pretty much customize that how you feel like. Like I said, it replaces the Minitrons. Now, I don't create arenas, so I don't know how you're supposed to customize that without messing it up, but you can. Once you have that all ready, you can pretty much, you know, customize the actual entranceway, you know, to your heart's contempt. But then you have, you know, raw with the LED barricades or whatever arena you want to create with the LED barricades. So this is pretty much a template for you to guys have fun with it. Um, not a lot of people, you know, found this template, only like 294 people downloaded this, which I was very surprised. So, um, you you know, you creative arena creators out there, go ahead and download this template and have fun with it, you know? Have fun creating uh, your arenas with the LED barricades. Next up, we got a custom arena from Reeves, inspired by WWE 2K20's Max Headlock. So we got a very trippy background right there. Inflatable tube men all around the ring, a disco dance floor, outside the ring and inside the ring some more disco tiles very you know colorful around the apron the very you know galaxy like 
on the staircase, the ring post, the ropes, etc. It says max headlocks on the turnbuckles. And it's like an open arena. You know what I mean? There's no like announcer tables, no barricades. It's just an open arena. So you can have fun here. Put on some uh, cool matches. Maybe some, you know, custom universe mode segments. Whatever if you like. Max headlocks by Reeves. Next up from Reeves, we have another template. And this one here is the three announcer table template. So pretty much you want to customize whatever you want up there. You got a announcer table right when you enter. And then you have two right here. So you got two right here. And then you can customize a third one right at the entrance. Maybe you want to add like a Spanish announce table, right? So you can put the Spanish announce table right there. And then Ron Smackdown right there. And again, it's like an open arena concept, but it is a template. So you can really add the barricades and do whatever you feel like with it. Uh, customize everything else. But yeah, this is just a template for the three announce tables. And from the icons of the ring, we actually got the very first ever Monday Night Raw. Had a custom big Titantron custom background there for the entranceway. Simple curtain, simple red walkway, you know, red car red carpet into the ring. And it just says World Wrestling Federation in like a small little town hall. So the very first Monday Night Raw ever. Monday Night Raw episode one from Icons of the Ring. And finally, wrapping up the arena video, it is SmackDown from April 13th, 2024. Again, it is one of those like condensed, you know, entrance ways. But this is pretty much how SmackDown and Raw are going to look like moving forward. So get used to this. So if you want to download Arena from SmackDown, April 13th, 2024, then download this arena right here. Now, I forgot to show this last arena video, but if you want to use these arenas, you actually have to make them shows first unless they're already a show. So if they're already a show, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, but if they're not, then you have to make them one. So what you want to do, you want to click on shows, new. And obviously you're going to customize all this stuff, right? You're, you're going to edit all this stuff. You're going to edit the name, uh, the referee, the transition. You're going, to, you're going to change all this stuff. But if you want to just quickly play the arena, all you have to do is just go to arena, click on it, custom arenas, and then just pick whichever one you want to play as. So if you want to play as All in London, you just click on it. And now All in London is the arena. And then you change the show name to All in London and save it. 